it up. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Fincer Rental, SoundCloud, SoundClick. It's your boy, Tell 202, coming at you live one more again on YouTube. With the inference on you. Some of you don't like my singing. Some of you are here to troll. I like it. You need more haters. <laughs> you do. A song. A song for you haters. Those were the days, my friend. I thought they never end. I don't know the words. Ba -ba 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 -ba. It was a time to choose. We thought we'd never lose. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Just fun in you. <laughs> Anyways, so Steelers. <laughs> so some of you have been throwing out some predictions of Steelers. I'm from Pittsburgh. You know what I'm saying? Was born in Ohio, raised in Pittsburgh. I'm just telling y'all that because y'all all know me. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, Pittsburgh, man, grew up there. Braddock, crazy place, tore my projects down. But Steelers, the Steeler Nation, man, it's a crazy city to grow up in. It is. But, you know, when you're there, you love it. You love the fact that they win a lot, not just the Steelers. I mean, you know, back in the 70s and 80s, it was the thing to be in Pittsburgh because the steel mills were still popping. You know, there were jobs, even though the jobs were dwindling. But uh, sports came in and started taking that revenue that was missing from, you know, the, the, the steel mills because they started laying off a lot of people, you know. But, um, you know, some of that revenue was passed on in the sports. And, and, you know, next thing you know, you know, Noel and them, they were doing good, man. And Pirates were winning, the Penguins won, and the Steelers won all in the same year. And uh, this is why I'm predicting that um, Cleveland, not their football team, is not going to win, which is Pittsburgh's next game, I think. But I predict that um, the Cavs and uh, I predict that the, the Cavs and the Indians are going to win this year. So, you know. We're looking out for that, for Cleveland, but their football team is still a long way to go. Although I'm going to say this, look, I'm an RG3 fan. Uh, I'm not a fan of him going out and getting knocked in the head, but I was a fan of his. I wanted to see him do better. I'm sorry he's not there. I was never a Johnny Manziel fan. I liked his talent, but I always thought he was just not ready uh, for the big game. However, going to Pittsburgh, uh, I can't say that I'm a Roethlisberger fan. I'm more of a James Harrison fan. That dude is, he's ridiculous. I mean, at 39, he's just, he's just ridiculously strong. He's just gifted. I don't care what he's taking. This dude spends money on acupuncture and all this to keep his body right. He's just a dangerous guy on the field. That's just it. And as long as he's with Pittsburgh, man, they're always going to be able to do damage on defense. Uh, you know, I was watching Pittsburgh's defense when, you know, they had uh, Ham and Lambert, Joe Green, and, you know, all those guys. It was, it was a sight. It was a spectacle of just hard nose, 100%, we're going to break you defense. Mean Joe Green would just take his arm. That's why they call him Mean Joe Green. He'd just take his arm and just throw it up into the guy coming towards him. He didn't care. He would just break you. You know, that was his whole point. That's why I call him Mean Joe Green. He was a big, bad man, or is a big, bad man. He's still tough. Uh, so, you know, I Pittsburgh has always been prided on their defense. You know, uh, a lot of people say you win games with defense, you know. Uh, this is one reason why they're saying that the Pats are not going to win because they don't have a defense this year. Listen, my prediction on the Pats winning this year is not solid. My prediction on the Pats winning, uh, let me say this. I'm simply saying before Tom Brady leaves, well, when Tom Brady leaves his last year in football, he's going to win a Super Bowl. 
Uh, I'm still going to throw it out there that they're going to win this year, but a lot of people are going to say no. That's all, that's okay if they don't win. Uh, I'm not really, I don't really care. But Pittsburgh, I, listen, I never count Pittsburgh out. Now, here's the thing. Like, I can't see any tributes coming towards Pittsburgh for any particular reason. They're not in any hurricanes, uh, any earthquakes. Isn't that crazy? Like, four hurricanes in, like, one week? That's that's ridiculous. Uh and I can't see, uh, uh, like, but so it, it, what I'm saying is I can't see it being fixed for them to win. Uh, Roethlisberger, uh, they're, they've got doubts about him, but he's still there as, as far as I know. Uh, Tomlin's still there, you know. Uh, Bradshaw doesn't particularly like Tomlin. But, you know, as far as the team is concerned, there has been some questions raised last year about uh, the running back and how they felt that the Patriots, they, they gave the Patriots the Super Bowl this year, and they said, you know what, next year we're going to give uh, Pittsburgh the Super Bowl because we had, uh, forgot the running back's name, uh, but they, they had him, they're like, you know what, go ahead and take it out this year, we're going to give it to you next year. That I can understand happening. I can see that happening. I can see them trading that off. Pittsburgh is never, ever, to me, out of the running. Even when, uh, I mean, they were losing. That one year they were losing. They were like, you know, six and um, six and six, and, and then they still made it to the playoffs. But they had a lot of their star players that were injured, you know. So, as far as Pittsburgh going... I, I just don't know. Uh, I'm going to read off the schedule, and then I'm going to end this and then field some of your comments uh, in my next video. So the Vikings, you know, I can't really see the Vikings doing much against them. Uh, Jaguars, no. The Bengals, very fast team. I remember we had to break uh, the quarterback's leg in order to slow them down. So the Bengals are always, you know, always consider them. They got that dynamite receiver. They were always fast. Uh, with the Titans, I can't really, I don't really have a comment. I just, I mean, I can't really see Pittsburgh like losing to them twice. You know what I mean? I can see them beating them once. Green Bay, however, is a battle. Green Bay and the Ravens always got our number. I mean, I can see us beating the Ravens once and I can see us losing to the Ravens once. That's just the facts, Jack. The Patriots, I can definitely see us losing to the Patriots. It's it just the way it is. The Browns, I can see us stomping the Browns. So, eh, do I think Pittsburgh's going to go? I think they got a fighting chance if they can get past the Ravens, the Pats, and uh, Green Bay. Because those, those guys, they always got our numbers in one way or another, especially... The freaking uh, Baltimore Ravens. Those guys just, they just give it to us every year. But nonetheless, we can't get past them. So it's your boy Tone202. Thanks for stopping by. Jesus loves you. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Peace. Those were the days. Who sang that song?